So I just got back from the gym, and I just saw a video, Asmund Gold, uh, banned on Twitch. Now, why is this concerning to me? Uh, as a new Twitch streamer, it's important to see what type of things could cause a streamer as big as Asmongold to get to get banned, right? I watched a little bit of the video, and I immediately thought, I have to react to this. Um, because there's a lot of things in here that are important to, uh, to cover. Well, let's get right into it. Today I wanted to talk to you all about the fact that I got suspended on my second Twitch account, Zachrar, for 24 hours. Now, this happened a little bit earlier today. I've tried to work it out, and it seems like this suspension is not going to get overturned. So I'm going to make this video and express pretty much what happened. So, effectively, I was streaming Diablo Immortal, which, to be fair, I think that in itself should be grounds for a suspension. <laughs> yeah, no shit. But, unfortunately, Twitch did something even dumber than that. They decided to suspend me for hateful and unmoderated conduct in my chat. And I'm not... All right. <clears throat> Stop it right there. Uh, from what I've seen from Asmongold, he's very wholesome. Uh, I I don't know that I've ever watched any of his stuff or seen anything that has come across as hateful or disrespectful. Um, in fact, a lot of the videos that he has are deliberately against uh, making making that type of content and kind of immediately having it moderated when it does happen talking about my chat on Twitch. I'm talking about my chat box on Diablo, Diablo Immortal. Oh Immortal. I had stood up for maybe like five or ten seconds. I was readjusting my uh, my blanket here, and I had my chat showing, and in the process of doing that, uh, there was a person in the chat box who typed the, uh, the N-word, and they did not type it. Obviously, I have the language filter on, so they had to use special ways to get around it, so they put dot. So he's saying he got banned or someone typing something in game uh, while he was standing up and not doing anything about it. So what what would he have possibly been able to do on screen? What would have a moderator been able to do on screen to an in-game feed while he was adjusting his chair? in between every single letter so it was n dot i dot you know etc yeah, trolls you know are going to make their way around and anything this they happened, possibly can. i sit back down the chat's almost off the screen and uh people are mentioning it to me and i'm like oh it's going to go away in a few seconds it is what it is right because i think that in general uh, so this is two two parts right if uh if if you have someone who is you know saying hateful things or doing anything like this and the response is the immediate response is well maybe it'll just go away that that initially is a problem um i want to see where he goes with this because it's important to, to understand all of what someone is thinking before just jumping the gun whenever you uh, give these things too much attention it generates more of these things happening because this person gets attention uh they get a response everybody's mad at them and they've effectively achieved so he brings up a really good point here. When when we're we're tracking um you know any any racial issue as a culture um we tend to give it more How do I how do I put this? We we tend to almost instigate it. Um, but things like this specifically, you know, this term, I think are proliferated by the culture that it's built upon. So I love rap music. Um, but one of the things I hate more than anything is rappers who use, you know, in this instance, the n-word as a form of lyricism it doesn't matter how many things it rhymes with i mean there's plenty of rappers out there that prove you can rhyme just about anything so when this is your defaults to go back to that type of speech what you're actually doing is making it worse for 
everyone else involved. So what you don't see is people making songs about other terrible things that have happened within uh within our lifetime you know no one's going back to uh rap about you know the atrocities of world war ii no one's going back to rap about the crusades there are terms people use for white people that i never ever hear and to be honest i never hear the n-word outside of the internet or rap music like this might be a bad take, but if you want people to stop saying it, then stop saying it yourself. Because um, it's only drawing more and more attention to that. Um, that's not to underwrite the, you know, the terrible things that happened, you know, throughout history. I think it's important that we learn the bad things that happened so we don't repeat the mistakes of the past. But we definitely don't need to just keep slamming it in the forefront. Uh, the things that make other people feel uncomfortable. Off my soapbox. Achieve their goals. So I didn't want to give this person what they wanted. Unfortunately, Unfortunately Twitch did. And so Twitch, Twitch decided to suspend me because I did, I did. not uh, uh, adequately address this situation. Although, Although I spent five minutes afterwards talking about it and going over the So he, he did give it a little bit of attention, which I know he just stated he was against. Seeking man children. Uh, apparently this but you have enough. to address and it so in some way, Twitch right? Twitch suspended my account with apparently no grounds to even appeal and uh, remove the suspension. So I, the reason why I think this really pisses me off is because of the fact that I clearly did not support any of this. And also it's the implication that by the suspension. Not only did he not support any of it, he immediately addressed the issue. He came back. He talked about why it wasn't OK. And it was outside of his control. So, yes, he is providing entertainment. Um, there is a portion of his video that is contributed to the, the content that he has people watching. However, when you put your content out there and other people can underwrite your content, essentially in a live feed, which is what Twitch is, um, the only thing you can do is try to cut as soon as possible or address the situation. There's nothing you're going to do that's going to make, you know, time erase itself. Let's continue. Being there that I am somehow complicit or okay or approve of racism being on my stream, which I find to be completely fucking disgusting and yeah. absolutely an insult to me, to be honest with you. And it's absolutely ridiculous that Twitch would even think that this is the case. They would even think this is something that I'm trying to do or something that yep. I'm trying to promote. Uh, back in 2017, 2018, I was one of the first people who banned the tryhard emote in my chat because every single time that I said said something that could be correlated okay. with a negative I didn't even know what the tryhard emote people was. People were typing tryhards in chat, and I was the only person who was intellectually honest enough to call it exactly what it was. Unfortunately, to this day, Twitch has yet to do that. So they have multiple emotes on their channels and on their global emote list that are used almost... So I don't think Twitch is completely innocent. Uh, based on what he's saying, you know, Twitch is allowing certain type of... Uh, slang i guess uh through emotes uh to be utilized on their network um patterns of behavior uh that sim uh <laughs> that that kind of align with with racist or or hate speech which is not ideal simulate wow most exclusively in a racial, racially stereotypical way, but the moment that somebody in their uh, in, in their community does something like what happened to me, and by the way, I want to make this very clear, I never said any of this. This was something that was typed by a random person, and it was in a chat box, and it went like this, right? It was gone in a few seconds, and apparently that wasn't enough, uh, even after I had a conversation talking about how it was bad afterwards. And so you have a platform like Twitch who allows these uh, racial stereotypes 
stereotypes to be propagated and proliferated uh, by these uh, emotes. You have Ming Li. You know, you talk about an Asian stereotype, people are going to say Ming Li. You talk about any yeah, sort of is. negative simulated uh, racism or Middle Eastern stereotype, people are going to put in Nell. Using I have all those things banned in my emos. chat because it's something that I don't support. On top of having those things banned in my chat, what else can you do other than ban it within your own chat? To not only identify uh, those types of things, but uh, the fact and have your content been moderated, on the of course. 20 years. I know pretty much about every single different slur that's in the English language and a few in other languages as well. So not only do I understand all the slurs, I also understand the euphemisms like 1488 and jogger, etc. I see all of these things, even if people think that I don't. And I've trained my mod team to be even. Yeah, it sounds more like he's pretty. Uh, he's pretty am, confident on what he streaming. he so has experienced, what people are talking about. He's very unmoderated, hateful conduct in my chat. He's very absolutely in the know me. of and what you know pop, to be pop culture and the internet subculture is. Trying to not uh, draw attention things. to something and not allow somebody to weaponize and therefore uh, provide a reward structure around using a word like this is seen as a bad thing. The reason why I don't like this is also because as soon as somebody gets suspended for something like this, what that really tells everybody else in the community is that if you want to get a streamer you don't like suspended, go into their game and start yeah, spamming Yeah, you're just going to start trolling go into them. Their game and start so if it's as easy to take someone who's built up this massive platform uh, to get banned on Twitch with no appeal, uh, what is that really saying to the rest of the Twitch streamers? Why are we investing our time in becoming you know a a product for you to sell if at the end of the day you're not going to support uh the people that are helping uh drive your network and build your community spamming the homophobic f slur go into their game and try to say something racist to yeah. get them in trouble <clears throat> and what does that really do it creates more racism it creates more negativity and it makes, makes people that are part of those groups feel less and less like they're a part of twitch and i think I that this happens uh explicitly because it's so uh it, it's so much of a problem now i'm not saying that you shouldn't have to do anything to get rid of this and i think from now on what i'm going to do is i'm going to always have my chat blocked uh without any exception because apparently Apparently Twitch is yeah, too stupid if they're to gonna just shut your stuff off, you gotta, you However, gotta do whatever you can do. However, that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, it's impossible to get rid of all- Now for, so some, some of this can be filtered, <laughs> love the face. Some of this can be filtered out uh, through in-game, you know, profanity filters. Uh, you can even filter it down to certain types of um, speech i guess uh so you have you know different games with like a say some sort of shout or yell um uh, like a party chat if you're if you're playing with viewers for instance you could always just taper it down uh as low as possible so that you feel safe with the content that you have or are sharing all of these things i think that by the nature of you allowing anybody to communicate you and communicate with you in any sort of a game uh you do open yourself up to having these types of negative interactions and to blame them on the content creator and to say that that person is at fault for having these things happen to them is effectively blaming the victim and also weaponizing yeah. these words beyond what they already are and then turning them into a weapon to be used against streamers and thus pro not not only are you weaponizing them against the streamers, but you're also building a platform for those things. So if someone says a word and that word gets you banned, whether you you know you condemn it or not, which it sounds like he does, you're putting that word on a platform to essentially make people feel a way. Uh, by by stating it now you're going to get removed from your channel you know for a day for for seven days whatever the ban is um because someone came on your stream and said this now typically you know the things that i remember about my childhood and live tv are the things that you know popped up and then they cut um, you know those are the things that stand out the most to me because it's the same thing you have a network television uh, you know, center and what they're doing is they're, they're providing live programming. And in order to do that, in order to provide that up to date content for their viewers, they have to put themselves at risk, Twitch streamers are putting themselves at risk. Twitch 
as a company should understand, you know, the value that they're provided to have live streaming happen all the time. Proliferating them even more commonly on the uh, on the website. I find this to be incredibly fucking insulting And on top of that twitch has a number of different streamers and these are people mainly in the wow section uh, That have been racist for years. There are some of them. Uh, I know one of them at least is uh, banned from competing in any blizzard uh, tournament at all and uh, because they're racist, right? And they're a partnered streamer on Twitch. So my opinion is I don't really think that Twitch cares about racism. Wait, wait, wait. He said they're a partnered streamer on Twitch, known racist. Um, I'm sure that comes across in streams. I'm sure it comes across in their content, how they deal with viewers. And Blizzard, who's blocked them from participating in any of their tournaments, which we all have our own opinions about Blizzard, but I don't think any of them are positive. And then you have Twitch readily accepting this person to, to provide content for their channel. Very interesting. Unless they get hurt, if they get told about it, I don't, I don't think, think that it really would. matters to them whenever, uh, you know, uh, black, black streamers and any sort of a minority streamer were getting these hate raids, etc. The, the best Twitch could do was send out us. some cease and desist to, to two losers, losers in the UK. Uh, they don't even try to do the bare minimum for their content creators and at the same time they expect them to go above and beyond and even outside of the context of what they're saying try to make what they he said there were minority streamers that were getting hate raids now i've i've obviously seen you know some of the like swat stuff i don't know if that's what he's referring to uh, but it sounds like you know when this stuff's happening they could do something more than just a cease and desist to uh to those those people who are targeting they're doing uh, as perfect as possible it, it's you're you're going against somebody who is looking for something wrong even whenever somebody is clearly not trying to do this and i wonder if somebody at twitch do they think that i'm promoting this do they think that i'm a racist do they think that this is something that i was like oh wow good job guys you got the n-word on the screen is that really what they believe i find no. this to be i mean i don't think so it's even a question and to be honest with you i just i think it's a lazy management i find it of ridiculous the, uh, of the i think twitch moderation usually does a good job but i think this is fucking ridiculous i'm not yeah. sorry for what i did i think that i made the right decision and i did nothing wrong yeah. the only thing that you could say i did wrong is hiding the chat entirely which i think you could which I hide my chat in my games uh, for one reason. Uh, the reason I do it is because a lot of people say things they shouldn't, and uh, I like to keep that off off screen. Um, but it's also because, you know, sometimes there are personal messages being exchanged back and forth with a community that's trusted, um, and you may be a third party to that, but you may be in that, you know, social group. Um, so it's more of a privacy thing for them. Um, Again, what you could do is just taper it down when you are streaming if you want to show your chat, but chat itself is a social aspect. It's one of the biggest portions to an MMO. Why have a multi, uh, multi, uh, massive multiplayer uh, platform if you're essentially playing a single player game? Uh, and, and without voice chat, there's really nothing that can, uh, that can extend that, that social uh, construct make that argument and if that's what they're gonna say then that's fine but I better see this happen for every single other person that doesn't hide their chat as well and we no. all know that's not gonna happen no, absolutely so not. I'm very frustrated about this I'm very annoyed and it looks like we're not gonna be streaming until so it sounds like this is like one of those suffering from success situations you know a small streamer like me is probably not gonna get raided you know by a bunch of trolls that just want to see me banned on twitch but when you have millions of followers, you know, the percentage of people that are either jealous of your success or they are um, just bad people. I mean, they're out there. You know, the, the, the percentage of the population that is good is not 100%. Um, so even in a subculture, you're bound to have bad actors. And, and I think that's exactly what's happened to Asmongold here. Until Sunday. Um, 
I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know what else to say. Uh, again, I think that what is the most offensive to me about this is that the implication that I'm complicit with racism or homophobia on my stream. Uh, as I don't I think anyone knows videos and got anyone that knows him thinks that broader Twitch community that they've they cultivated, cultivated by the or way, at least the persona that the he last 10 years presents that to is, the public. Uh, embroiled with homophobia and racism uh, because, uh, because I've, I've tried, tried to push, push back, back against that uh, uh, somehow, somehow me not blocking my chat is a uh, is is somehow that I'm okay with it. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very frustrated, frustrated and I'm very annoyed by this. You right to be. And yeah. I think that this video probably went on a bit too long. But I want to say thank you to everybody who's been supportive to me and everything like that. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all very soon. We have a lot of things to talk about. I, I think, um, you know, great, great video from Asmongold uh, here explaining the situation and what happened and, you know, what could potentially be done to fix it. Um, what I do think is that in order to better solve the situation, Twitch could have either made the the live stream uh you know that portion of the clip cut out uh they could have taken the whole live stream video down there, there's a lot of things they could have done that were easier or more beneficial to both the streamer and the platform uh than than banning you know one of one of the most prominent streamers out there so um you know, I'm sorry to see this happen, Asmigal. It looks like he's, you know, done pretty well for himself with this video. It was a couple days ago now, uh, but it also looks like, you know, I'm in the way here. But this has almost 2 million views. Uh, you know, he does have a lot of viewership on Twitch, but I'm sure, you know, something like this also has given him, you know, more, more views typically than a... Uh, than a, than a standard Twitch stream might. So, you know, sorry to hear hear about this, Asmund Gold. Um, it was great reacting to your content, and I will uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.